Welcome to JLM University. In this episode, we're going to be replacing a circuit board on a CM2 pump system. First, disconnect power from the unit. There are a few ways you can do this, but we recommend pulling the inline fuse from the positive lead. Be sure to store it somewhere safe. Remove the top cap by prying up on this tab. Set the cap off to the side and then take off the rubber membrane cover. The circuit board is now accessible. We're actually going to use the cap to help remove it. Stick the tab in between the motor casing and the circuit board and gently pry up. You'll feel the circuit board come free. Remove the circuit board and lay it to the side. Now that we've removed the faulty circuit board, it's time to install the new one. To begin, make sure the silica pack is positioned on top of the motor assembly. Then, line up the replacement circuit board and push it down into all of the connectors on top of the motor casing. Once the new board is installed flush, lay the membrane on top, making sure it's seated in the casing groove. Finally, install the cap by lining up the two tabs on the back of the pump housing with the holes on the pump cap. Then, snap the pump cap into place, and then reconnect the unit to power. Our installation is complete. However, this is a new circuit board, so it needs to be programmed and paired to our existing remotes. If you only have one power pole anchor, only remote pairing is needed. However, if the circuit board is on a boat with dual anchors, the board must be programmed as either a port or a starboard. I'm going to program this board as a port side. Start the programming process by holding the program button for 6 seconds until the LED flashes red and two chimes are heard, followed by a single beep. Next, press and release the down button to set it as a port anchor. If replacing a circuit board on the starboard anchor, press the up button. Finally, press and release the pairing button one final time to save the setting. Run the newly programmed anchor through an up and down cycle using the HPU to make sure everything is functioning properly. All that's left to do is to pair any remotes to the new circuit board. Please refer to our video on remote pairing in the link below.